Hey everyone, Eamon here, back with another Legend of Korra reaction. We are on Season 3, Episode 7. I'm just going to do Episode 7 today because I, yeah, there's an odd number of episodes I just realized, so we'll, we'll go back to 2 for the rest of the season after this one. Um, but yeah, so last episode, lots of um, Lin slash Toph's backstory, I guess, sort of. We, we definitely learned more about Toph, which I'm super curious about. I really hope we get to see her. Uh, mentioned that a few times, I think, in, in the last video. But yeah, I, I really want to see Toph uh, as an adult because she actually has, like, the little bit we have seen of Toph as an adult has not been, like, or maybe that is kind of how she would have turned out or how I would have thought she turned I don't know. I thought she'd be a bit more, like, goofy, though, because she was always, she was really funny, but she, I guess as she got, got older, she became a lot more serious from what we've seen so far, but I'm, I'm hoping they, they introduce her again as an old lady, and it'd be fun to see her, uh, I feel like she'd be pretty funny as an old lady, so we'll see, I guess. Um, but yeah, so episode seven, um, I guess we're gonna have, at some point in the season, we're gonna have to have the, have the uh, the Zaheer storyline, like, meet up with uh with Korra so that maybe happens this episode that'd be awesome if it does um we learned um he had I believe he has some sort sort of sub sub bending for air bending that allows him to hear like hearing in the wind that that makes the most sense to me so I'm assuming he's gonna be able to track her down with that um and yeah I guess I and there's one comment in the video we did uh last yesterday or on Wednesday, no, was that Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday night. Uh, I had one comment mention that um, Toph's voice actor was actually in the episode. She just wasn't voicing the person I thought. So, damn, I can't. I'm, I'm kind of upset that I missed that. But I guess it's a voice actor, right? So the voice actor is going to sound a bit different, regardless. Um, anyways, yeah, let's just hop into it. Uh, make sure to sub, like the video, comment your thoughts below, all that good stuff. And yeah, give me suggestions for another show to watch after we finish up Korra. Yeah, I think we're probably going to try to stick to like an anime or a cartoon, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, let's go. Chapter 7, Original Airbenders. All right. His pupils once again pleaded with their master to eat something. Okay. Instead, he simply meditated. Are we going to learn about, um, I don't know, what's his name? The guy that's so, here keeps quoting. I don't know, that's a different guy. The seventh day of his historic <laughs> fast. Anyone besides Otaku <laughs> already studied this in his acolyte training? <laughs> and is answering every question? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Greetings, our people. I come seeking oh my God, stories Boomy. to take back to the spirit world. Tendon's got to spice it up a bit. It was incredible. When do we get to fly around in our own bison like that? Only after many years of practice and intense training. <laughs> years, he's like. Besides, we don't have enough bison here for all of you. What about those? <laughs> it's a whole herd of bisons. Whoa. Cool. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Now let's get back to our. He's, he's gonna tame one this episode. We brought you more airbenders. Zahir infiltrated the air temple. What? Is everyone all right? Everyone's fine. <laughs> we fought with him, but he got away. Something to do with Guru Lakshmir. Guru Lahima. Right. You know, I can never keep. Is Guru Lahima the guy that was uh, helping Aang? Did I completely forget that that was his name? I think that is. I think that was his name. Guru Lahima. I hope I didn't get that wrong, but I think that's correct. Remember that long, boring story about the guy who never ate? Yes, <laughs> I remember. Lynn willingly took you to her sister? Not exactly. We got nope. a call about a new airbender, and it turned out to be Sue's daughter, Opal. That's wonderful. She is wonderful. Oh my god, both <laughs> And so smart, and she smells like flowers. Sorry. <laughs> Bowling out. Bowling's so definitely... Well yeah, I think mean, he might be my favorite character of like both shows. He's so funny. And what about Boomy? He was a naval commander. Maybe he has some ideas about how to get people motivated. <laughs> Boomy? He's my worst student. Yeah, but he loves to organize people. We should go down there. I want to fly one of those bisons. I don't know. We might get in trouble. Yeah, he's going to tame on. one. Let's have some fun. Bad influence, though. Be all right. Bad influence. <laughs> oh my god. Look how cute! Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Jeez. Why don't you have tattoos like an airbending master? My dad says I'm not a master yet. Everyone knows you're a natural leader. Natural leadership award. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> what would you do 
if you were in charge. You've got to use military discipline to whip these troops into shape. Show them who the master is. Thanks for the insight. My pleasure. I can't imagine Tenzin doing that, but I guess we'll see. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Dawn Patrol! Now get moving, recruit! <laughs> that backfired on him? Nothing like a 10 mile hike first thing in the morning. Airbenders are able to warm themselves with only their breathing. <laughs> he crawls away. <laughs> there you go, Tenzin. Get back up! What's the matter? You can't handle it, soldier? Yeah. <laughs> how is he. How is he crawling away like. Ignore the lemurs digging in your ears. Concentrate on your breathing and you won't even know they're there. When the head is shaved, an airbender is able to feel the wind around him. Yeah, why is he not shaved his wanna sneak away and go check on the baby? His daughter's hair. Just realizing that now. Alright, who's next? Shaving your head is a personal choice. Oh, okay. What? Anyone else? He didn't even tell me. He didn't tell the guy. Obstacle Oh my god. Okay, so that make that answer that question though. It's not you you're not required to. You're pushing too hard. Maybe we should give them a break. Junora, I have this under control. Uh oh. She's gonna rebel. Yeah, she's gonna rebel against him. Yeah! <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I'm wasting those watermelons, man. Those are expensive. Oh he knocked him. Everyone is waiting for you, Boomy! Is he gonna like get injured? Oh my god. That was just a cartoon I'm cartoon finished. fall. I never wanted to be an airbender and I'm too old to be back in boat camp. When do we get to go home and visit our families? When's dinner? I'm starving. Change out of my mm. room now. It's itchy. I'm tired of all this complaining! Yeah, he went way too overboard. Take over. Does this mean I'm the master now? Yes, just lead them through some basic exercises. When do you think I can get my tattoos? What brought this on? I was just talking to Kai, uh -oh. and he was asking me. Not Kai, the right time. What does he know about not when you the right get time. The answer is no, you're just a little girl. <laughs> I'm not a little girl anymore, and I have a stronger connection with the spirits than you ever uh -oh. Lead your own class. Just lead them through the Bagua Circle. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> a bit overboard. He just can't believe that I'm grown up now and I don't need him telling me what to do like mm -hmm. one of his recruits. Okay, are they actually going to tame them? Spirits go? Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Who is that? What are these kids doing in my cap? They're those new airbenders. Must be living up at the temple. Who is Hurry this? Hurry up and gather the rest of the gang and let's get out of here before someone comes looking for these kids. That's not good. Who's that guy though? Tattoos. Mm. Me ruins everything. <laughs> Inhale. Oh my god. Then. Mm. Yeah, they weren't trained from little kids like the other I remember when were. I moved out of my parents' house to be in the bed was so hard. It's actually better for your back. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. The point Not is... the time. Now I know how Cora feels when I'm talking to her. <laughs> Good chat. Yeah, he went a bit overboard. Boomy, I want to apologize for losing my patience. Get back here. <laughs> His little spirit buddy's like talking smack to him. I saw her fly off on her glider with her boyfriend. What? Her boyfriend? <laughs> God. All right. Okay. Oh, they're okay. Geez, they're taking little baby, bison. baby bison. Bison steaks. Ah, uh, no, they eat them. I even heard she ate her dad's pet. Bear. What? Not the pet bear. Disgusting. Maybe I can send a message. Hmm. There we go. Okay, she's super powerful. That's care. That's crazy. Boomy gonna gonna save the day. Did Janora send this spirit? Is she in trouble? Janora's in trouble. We have to go get her. Just let's go. Shouldn't Master Tenzin be dealing with this? I don't want to get into trouble. Ikin Milo, grab some. Let's go. Airbenders, move out. Let's go. Okay. This is gonna get wrapped up this episode. That'd be good. I don't really like them introducing another group of bad guys. 
They've yeah. got Kai and Janora locked in crates. I can tell without the telescope that they're mean looking. Oh my god. But we're airbenders, and there aren't many of us, so we've got to stick together. There you we're go, Boomy. Out there, and we're not leaving until we bring them home. We no airbenders <laughs> Let's go, Milo. Nice. Hey, what are you doing out? Nice. Here we go. Earth versus air. Uh oh. Oh. His bald head. His bald head. His bald head saved the day. That's awesome. They're all gonna shave their heads now. Let's go, Milo. No. Uh -oh. What's going on down there? Let's go, Tenzin. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Nice. Oh my god. Can I catch catch the? Where's the truck? Oh jeez, he's got like a bison. You think you can kidnap Janora and all these baby bisons? Yeah, Kai is gonna do some crazy stuff. That's enough. An airbender never attacks a defenseless opponent, but that was very good technique. <laughs> Had to give him some props, yeah. Maybe you boys haven't heard, but there's some new airbenders around these parts. Without my shaved head, I never could have dodged that net. I really felt it coming at me. You guys should totally get shaved. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yeah, there Your we go. Connection with the spirits and natural leadership. You know, even though I'm Aang's son, I never really felt like I was part of the Air Nation before. <laughs> you are now. <laughs> there we go. I got more bison for everyone. They're so friendly now. And are the original Airbenders? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Does that mean I can get my airbender tattoos? <laughs> it's hard for me to believe that my little girl has grown up enough to have her tattoo. They're flying! <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute. I guess everyone is growing up. <laughs> their little feet. Alright, jeez. Alright, so that was Season 3, Episode 7, Legend of Korra. Um, I guess, yeah, that was kind of a filler episode. Maybe not, not so much a filler episode, it was a good episode. It was like, yeah, it was good to see how the Air Nation was progressing and all that. And that'll obviously be like an important, like in the grand scheme of things, that's obviously massive to have like an actual Air Nation. That's not um, after what happened to them. Having like an actual Air Nation, Air Nation is huge. Um, Yeah, so kind, kind of, yeah, definitely, definitely like not much plot progression though, I guess. Maybe just if there's a big battle, having the Air Nation will, will be helpful, I guess, even, even though they're not really meant to be like a, an attacking force, but they're like, that would obviously help a lot. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah, Janora, Janora, we, we see even more how powerful Janora is with her, her spirit stuff as well as her air bending. So she, yeah, she's, I mean, she's already had a huge role in Legend of Korra, but I feel like she, she could have like some, so there, there's going to be some plot in the future where she is a major, major like part of, saving something or stopping something um and then yeah i guess kai kai is he, he's planting seeds in, in janora's brain i guess that, that were kind of iffy but he does definitely seems to be like he can become like a very good airbender as well obviously he's definitely got got it um yeah and then nice little moment at the end there with boomy and uh and tenzin um yeah yeah I don't know, not much else to say. I, I definitely thought this this episode would be more um, the here focus, but I guess not. Um, I, it's gotta be next episode though, then, because there only is six episodes left, so they gotta ramp that up shortly. Um, and, and then the, I did mention um, the uh, the guru, Guru Lahima. I think that that was the one from from Avatar, right? With Aang, Guru, guru Lahima? I think so. Or it was the, the one from when Aang was like a little kid. It was either that one or the one that helped Aang look later in, in Avatar. Um, I think it could be someone from like hundreds of years ago, but I think it's one of the ones from Avatar. I'm completely forgetting the names, but I, th I think Lahima is the one. Yeah. That like, yeah, what, when there was the big like space sequence with like the purple and black Avatar thing, I think that was Guru Lahima that was doing that. When he was like unlocking his chi or something, I think. 
yeah let me know in the comments if that if i, if I, if I have that right i might i might be in that room anyways yeah we're up up there um yeah next two episodes hoping for monday but might just might be tuesday or wednesday um i have a really busy weekend so we'll see how it goes but um at the latest it'll be wednesday but hopefully for hopefully earlier all right thanks for watching